Papadale. And we are moving on. You can see the countryside around Albuquerque, around the suburb of Albuquerque, Edgewood. Nice, great, big, tall mountain over there. I have no idea what the name of it is. It's a Wild West Nature Park right there. I might want to come back and visit sometime. Some nice homes and mini farms over on one side. And we are on the way! Yabba dabba doo! And look at those mountains right there. I do believe that those mountains are part of the Rocky Mountains. Well, here's another beautiful scenic site along the route to Albuquerque. Actually, uh, we're going to go to the casino that's right near Gallup, the uh, Fire Rock Casino. That's our next stop before we ever get to Albuquerque, but these these straight up and down cliffs with the mesa tabletop up above are uh, certainly awesome geology. It's just an amazing, amazing beauty. I'm sure we'll see similar beauty when we get up to Utah, but for now, this is uh, the awesome beauty of New Mexico, right here. When I've traveled east or west in this country, I haven't gone along Interstate 40. I usually have gone further south along Interstate 10. So this is the first time that I can remember seeing this landscape. I sure am enjoying it. This is the little town of Mesita, New Mexico. And Mesita is built right at the foot of these beautiful mesas. This beauty is just absolutely stunning. This is just astonishing.
four pretty rock formations. Man, some of those rocks are as big as a house. So right here, Throughout this valley, underneath this sagebrush, you can see black rock. Looks to me like lava. So I'm guessing that there was or is a lava vent around here somewhere where at some point in time lava poured out and filled this valley. Pretty interesting. Here's some more coming up here. Looks like the uh, freeway surface is built right on top of it. Reminds me a little bit of the lava fields in Hawaii on Maui going from Kihei out to uh, Fairweather Cove. Pretty interesting formations. Oh, there's a good look at it there. Okay, Papa Dale checking out. So here's a, a close up of that volcanic lava that came uh, out of two mountains I found out. One is called Flower Mountain. The other is called Mount Taylor. They're both right here in the neighborhood within uh, 10 miles or so. This is uh, a chasm in between uh, the lava flows. Looks like the one piece of lava just kind of fell off of the other. But here's an interesting thing. See this uh, lava right here and then right here is the parking lot. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what the construction method was, but they built this travel center on top of the lava flow. Papa Dale checking in here. Got some beautiful landscape out here. Typical New Mexico landscape with the tabletop Mesa Mountains. And you'll notice that we are out of the lava land. The lava land went maybe 15 miles or so from the volcanic, two volcanic vents that were in that uh, neighborhood in that area. But that uh, black volcanic rock is uh, not covering the ground like it did before. So uh, beautiful, beautiful 
countryside. Oh, look at this train coming up here. Woo! They have long, long trains out here in the Badlands in New Mexico. Man, look at that thing go. Okay, Papa Dale, check it out. Well, Mike and I made it to the Fire Rock Navajo Casino. And out there, you can see why it's called the Fire Rock Navajo Casino. The red rock is beautiful. That rock right there, I think, is called Church Rock. And here's my rig and my tracker. Here's Mike's rig and Mike's tracker. And here's the casino over here across the parking lot. And this is free boondocking. The uh, parking lot is asphalt. There's no hookups whatsoever. But it is free. It is the parking lot on the far west side of the casino. It is uh, near the freeway, I-40, so we'll probably have some freeway noise most of the night. It is windy. I tried to park my motor home so that it was pointed in the, into the wind, which is the most streamlined uh, way that I could have it pointing into the wind so the wind won't be slamming against the side of the motorhome all night and rocking me and keeping me awake. I hope at least that's the plan. But whoo wee! These hillsides are pretty. Just like the ones that we were filming earlier going through New Mexico. Hope you enjoy them. Okay friends, this is Papa Dale, and we spent a cold night in the parking lot at the Fire Rock Casino, and the Fire Rock doesn't look quite as pretty this morning as it did last night because it is cloudy and overcast, and it's been raining. It's been wet, but there's the last look at it as we leave, and there's Mike waiting for me there. There's the casino behind him, and it was a nice quiet place to sleep last night, although I was kind of cold because my furnace chose last night to not work for some reason. The fan worked, but the uh, the fire didn't come on. So I don't know what's up with that. I found the, uh, found the manual for it. I'll look at that. We're on our way to Winslow, Arizona. We're gonna go there and just kind of stand on a corner and do nothing. Look for a girl in a flatbed Ford, I guess. Just like everybody else that goes to Winslow, Arizona. Anyway, that's where we're headed. Maybe I'll see if I can't find somebody that can look at my furnace when we're there, if I can't figure it out for myself. So, here we go! Papa Dale checking out.